Hello everybody and welcome to Draw with Alan. My name is Alan Nolan and I'm an illustrator and I'm a writer and I write and I draw loads of books for kids and young readers and children and I love doing it but I especially love drawing and that's what we do in this channel. We do loads and loads of drawing and we draw really cool stuff. You can see it on YouTube or on my website alannolan.ie but today we're going to draw one of my least favourite things because I live in a house with my wife, my three boys and also an evil cat called Chewy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw the evil cat called Chewy because she's always eating my pencils, she's always sitting on my head when I'm trying to draw, she's sitting in my lap when I'm trying to use my laptop which makes it very hard because she's on the lap already. So what we're going to draw is this evil cat called Chewy. So to draw Chewy what we're going to do is we need uh, some paper and we need a pen or a pencil and then you're all set. So to start off drawing Chewy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Chewy's nose. So right in the middle of your sheet, you, know, you can draw sideways or upright, as big as you like, as small as you like. You can draw a huge big cat who fills up the whole page or you can draw a tiny little kitten that only takes up this amount of space. So whichever way you want to do it, it's fine by me, it's your kitten. Okay, so when we're drawing Chewy, I always start with her nose. We're going to start right in the middle of my sheet here with a sort of upside down triangle. So a line going across like that, okay, and then coming down, two lines coming down into a point at the bottom side, so like an upside down triangle. And this is her nose, so to make it a little black shiny nose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little wavy line about a tiny bit down from the top of the triangle, a little wavy line, and then I'm going to colour in the bottom of the triangle here, so just colour it in black. And guys, if you're going over the lines, or if you're not getting it completely black, don't worry, this is your cat. It doesn't have to be chewy, it could be called flossy, it could be called foo foo, it could be called whatever you want it to be called. Okay, so we just fill in the rest of this. Brilliant. Okay, excellent. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Chewy's mouth. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line straight down like this. So from the bottom of this triangle, a line coming down like that. Okay. And then we'll give her an evil smile. So we're going to do a big curve at the bottom of that, uh, bottom of the uh, of the line coming down. We're going to do a big curve. So a big smile. And we'll start here, come around, and up to the other side, and then join the line to it like that. Excellent. And then because she's a cat and she's always out, she's always catching mice. She's always trying to chase uh, birdies and stuff like that. She's got two little fangs coming down as well. So we draw with her evil fangs coming down like that. Make her look like a vampire cat. Which would be cool. I've heard of vampire bats, but never vampire cats. So that would be brilliant. Excellent. Okay. The next thing we're going to do on this cat is we're going to draw her evil eyebrows. So to draw her evil eyebrows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a curve that comes down here, nearly reaching the nose. And then it'll come back like that. So almost like a V on its side, like a letter V on its side, but with kind of curvy lines instead of straight lines. So I'll show you now, it starts here with a curve that comes around like that, nearly meets the nose, and then comes back up like that, right? And then we do the same on the other side. We'll draw a line that starts about here, comes down, nearly meets the nose, and then goes back up again. We'll come back up at an angle like that. Real. Okay, so there are the cat's eyebrows. You've got the nose, you've got the mouth. We need the eyes next. So to do her eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two circles for the outside of her eyes. So, but the tops of the circles are actually going to be covered by her eyebrows coming down like this. So they're going to be nearly circles, all right? So we're going to start this nearly circle over here with a line that starts a little bit in from the end of her eyebrow with a line that curves around in a circle like this, round, 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 and then back up to the eyebrow at the other side. Okay, and then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll start it here this time, and we'll start with a little circle or a big circle that starts here, curves around, round, 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 and then up to meet the eyebrow at the other side. Brilliant, so they're the outside of her eyes, but we need to do the little pupils in the middle of her eyes. 
So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two more little circles, one on each of these circles. So circle here, around like that, right? And a circle here, around like that. Cool. And then to make the little black buttony eyes a little sparkle in them, because I always find when you're drawing an animal or a person and you want to give them eyes, give them their eyes a little bit of sparkle, and that'll bring your character to life. So what we're going to do is to give these little sparkles in their eyes, I'm going to draw a little circle up at the top right hand corner of each of those little circles and then I'm going to colour in the big area. So again like I did with the nose, I'm just going to colour in and don't worry if you're going over the lines, absolutely grand. Cool. There we are. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay. The next thing we're going to do with this evil looking cat, and you can see she's already looking a bit evil, is we're going to draw her chin. So her chin goes around like this, like a curve, and then there's two furry bits in the end. So we start with the furry bit on this side, all right? We're going to draw uh, two kind of spikes, almost like the waves of the sea coming in, like this. And I'm from Bray, so I know all about the sea. So it's got a spike going up, down, up, and then down into a huge big curve that goes around like that. So we start here with a spike that comes up like that, and then back, there's one spike, and then up like that, and then for this one we're going to draw a huge big curve right up to the other side of her face, so from here, right the way up to here. So we're going to start with a curve that starts at the end of this spike, and comes round, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up to there. Cool. And then, on the other side, I'm going to do two spikes as well. So a spike for the bottom there, and then one more spike that goes up and back. There we are, there's her chin. Cool. And then while we're at it, may as well put some whiskers on her as well. So to draw the whiskers, I'm going to start in here just in her uh, muzzle sort of area. So over her mouth and under her nose, I'm going to start with a line that comes out like that. And then under it, a line that comes out like that. And then under that, a line that comes out like that. So there's one set of whiskers. Cool. And then on the other side, I'm going to try and do the mirror image of this. I'm going to start with a line that starts about here and comes out to here. And then one underneath that that comes here and comes outside her face like that. And then one underneath that will start here and come down like that. Brilliant. Got to run that outside her face as well. Maybe this one as well. Just to make it the same. Brilliant. Okay. So now what do we have left? We have the top of her head and her ears. So to draw her, the rest of her head, what I'm going to do is from the bottom or the top of each of these spikes on either side, I'm just going to draw a curved line going up like that, and a curved line on the other side going up like that. And then I'm going to leave a gap either side for her ears. I'm going to draw the top of her head. So from here, I'm going to draw another line going across to here. And then give her a little bit of spike here in the top. We'll draw it back like that. And then across to there. Excellent. And then to do her ears. Now her ears are quite easy to draw. They're like two more kind of triangle shapes. But instead of drawing them with straight lines, we're going to draw them with slightly curvy lines. So we start over here where we've left this gap from here to here. I'm going to draw a curvy line going up like that and then down like that. So up from this gap here or from that point, up and back down to meet that line there. Okay. So up like this, right? And then a curved line going back down like that. Excellent. And then inside that triangle, I'm going to draw another curved line triangle. So up like this, okay, down like this, and then I'm going to join these two points with a curved line as well. And then I'm going to color inside this uh, triangle here just to make it look like a furry cat's ear. Brilliant. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to draw a line going up, a line coming down. There's the first triangle. And then inside of another triangle, so a line going up, a line coming down. And then join those two lines 
from here to here and color it in black. There we go. And again, don't worry if you're going over the lines. Ooh. And that is your evil cat called Chewy. Well done, everybody.